welcome back to Hermitcraft. All right, it's been rather a long time since I've done any serious amount of mining, so I've decided to kind of take a page from something I've seen Mumbo doing, and that is I've got a chest here and some more in there and my fortune pick, and I am going to go mining for an hour or two, and uh, the proceeds I'm going to put in this chest Except, of course, for things like cobble and uh, dirt and gravel and flint and whatnot, and uh, so on. And then we'll see how much I manage to come up with after an hour or two. And during that time, I will be recording with uh, the idea of doing some selected cuts and speed ups and so on which I will then be talking over. And so, let the mining begin. You've probably noticed that my video making and uploading has not been the most regular thing in the world. And uh, a large part of that lately has been because I've been sick and uh, I'm I've been using a lot of stuff that I had pre-recorded ahead of time, which I have pretty much run out of. And so, that's why I'm even slower now in uploading and whatnot. But, uh, I've been trying to work out making some changes to my channel. And the reason for that is because of this video by game theorists and what they had to say about YouTube algorithm and uh, how YouTube determines what videos appear in whose feed and things like that it was a there was a lot of food for thought in that video if you haven't seen it I strongly recommend having a look at it because it's very good very informative and uh, because of that, I've been working on how to make some changes to my channel. And the first thing I did was, after I used up uh, the pre-recorded footage that I had, I decided to eliminate some of the video series that I'm doing. I, at the time, when I saw that video, I had like six or seven different series going. And not any one of them was uh, really doing all that well and so I have uh, I've cut some of them out like for example the World of Warcraft series while I had some fun with it it uh, really wasn't it didn't have much in the way of a draw or attention getting or anything like that so I've put that on hold for right now, and uh, it's going to stay on hold, I think. And, uh, well, for the foreseeable future, anyway. And so I've cut down the series to where I've got four that I'm going to be doing on a regular basis, with an occasional appearance from a single-player main world as well. And uh, what I'm going to be focusing on is Hermitcraft Season 3, of course. Uh, I've, you know, like, this is only the 17th episode and since Hermitcraft went to Season 3. And I really wish that I could have been doing more, but I I've had a number of issues with being sick that have made it difficult and sometimes almost impossible. To record new stuff because I have to keep I frequently have to keep stopping every few seconds because of coughing and uh, other unpleasantries that are related to being sick and whatnot and uh, so on but I think that now I'm going to be able to do a little bit more some of the videos may be shorter than uh, the half-hour videos that I typically like to do. Uh, I may be doing 15 and 20 minute videos, but that should still allow me to have more videos. Because
because uh, another thing that's helped is that I have finally figured out a direction that I want to go in, uh, things that I want to do, and that always helps. Knowing what you're going to do, what you want to do, is very important because without that, you're just kind of aimlessly faffing around on screen with no direction, no goal, no thing that you're trying to accomplish. And uh, I've finally gotten something figured out for Hermitcraft that I'm going to be working on. And uh, it's a long-term project, but that's cool. That gives me content for a long term. And uh, also similarly with Mod Sauce. I started out Mod Sauce originally with the idea I had certain things that I wanted to do. And because of changes in the mod pack and so on, those things became impossible. And lately I've got a new direction. I actually have some things that I know I'm going to be doing that I'm working on, like with blood magic and whatnot. And uh, I'm getting somewhere with that. And uh, so that's good. The other two series is Skyrim, which that is finally taking off because not only do I know what I'm going to be doing and I've learned a lot about how to go about doing it, learned a lot about how, how to get things done there and how to make up for mistakes that I made when I was first starting that series. So I've got a clear direction there as well. And so, and what's really good is if I can get a period of time where I can actually go 20 or 30 minutes without coughing all in a row, then uh, I can knock out a Skyrim episode pretty quickly and easily. It's gotten to be very easy. And then there's Kerbal Space Program. I have just recently come off of about a month and a half to two months vacation from Kerbal uh, that was originally inspired by the fact, well, I took, started taking some time off on it because I was having some trouble with it. And the trouble actually was almost exclusively with one of the mods that I had installed. And after due consideration, I thought about it, I removed that mod, and Kerbal Space Program became fun again. And that was the reason that I took a break from it in the first place, is because it stopped being fun and it started being more like work. And when something turns into work, all of a sudden you don't have any interest in doing it. At least that's the way it works with me. So by removing the work from Kerbal, it became fun again and I'm really getting going with it. I have a clear direction with what I want to do with that. I mean, I want to have these Kerbals occupying permanent positions on every planet in the Kerbal star system and uh, all sorts of things that I want to accomplish. And I think now I got a good shot at being able to do that. And what does this have to do with that Games Theorist video? Well, uh, watching that, I learned a bit about how the YouTube algorithm works. And this is the reason that I cut down the number of series that I'm doing. And the reason that I'm going to be attempting, as much as I'm able, like, uh, that's kind of a little difficult because, well, what I want to do is to get into having a new video every day and uh, to rotate through the different series that I'm working on. And the trick there is uh, doing that, exactly, rotating through the different series, never going more than just a few days without a new episode in one of the series. And this, uh, well, I don't recall the details of it, but, the, but this is really intended to help beat some of the, or, or to work with, uh, the YouTube algorithm. And so that's what I'm going to be working on. Uh, we've got Hermitcraft 3 today, and then the next video after that will be Skyrim, and then an episode of Mod Sauce, and then Kerbal Space Program, 
uh, the day after that, and then I rotate back to Hermitcraft 3, and that way I'm never more than four, three days out from any one of them, and uh, that, that should help. You know, I'm not going to go into, oh, woe is me, I'm not getting any views. I know why I'm not getting any views, and, the, you know, that Game Theorist video explained really simply very nicely why it was, why it is that I'm not getting the views that I should, is because what videos I made weren't in any kind of a schedule. I would go a week or two weeks or three weeks sometimes before putting up an, a new episode in a series and uh, so on. And it, I've been working counter to myself. And so rather than do like, well, I've seen videos where some people would get in and uh, talk about how, woe is me, I didn't get 15,000 views on this video, do I need to quit YouTube or something? Uh, no, uh, I'm just going to keep doing what I've been doing in terms of making videos that I enjoy making and uh, try to be more regular. I've never been great when it comes to schedules. And that's always worked against me. But I'm going to be attempting, once again, to do something like a schedule. Not necessarily say, this day is this thing, and this day is that thing, and this other day is this third thing, and so on. But instead, to have an order of making things, to make things in a particular order, and to try to do thing, do a new thing every day, as, as much as possible. I mean, this video that you're watching now took uh, actually a day and a half because it's taken me that much to find time where I'm not hacking my lungs out, trying to communicate without coughing every two minutes. That'll wear you out, and it gets you to the point where you might want to spend 16 hours a day sleeping. But, uh, hopefully, I'll be getting over the worst of that sooner and able to get more stuff done. And I hope I haven't rambled so much here that I've bored the daylights out of you. But I had to talk about this and that Game Theorist video. If you haven't seen it, take a few minutes and have a look at it. it tells you a whole lot about uh, how the YouTube algorithm, or part of it anyway, works, and it's really, really worth a watch. And now, I'm going to get off of this pre-recorded talk over the mining thing and see about getting on to something that might actually be real. Okay, that turned out to be a pretty good mining run, if I do say so myself. I mean, uh, on this side, I ended up doing three branches, and then over here on this side, I ended up doing six more for a total of nine branches, which is a pretty good amount of area to mine out when you figure that my branches are, uh, well, a torch every five blocks for 32 torches down the length of each branch. So that's quite a f decent amount of space. And this is the take. An awful lot of coal ore, a little bit of lapis, decent amount of redstone, some coal, a little bit of iron, 41 diamond ore blocks. And I even found one emerald. And almost a stack of obsidian because of all the lava that I had to deal with and so on. Pro tip, always, always, always carry that bucket of water when you're mining. Now, I am going to go get my fortune pick that was in that chest. And I'm going to fortune three all of this diamond door.
and see what I end up out of it. It should be something over a stack of diamond. Not bad haul. Not a bad haul at all. do this again sometime soon because I've found myself to be a little short of diamond when it comes to uh, doing enchants and stuff. Alright, and the drum roll is a stack plus 27. Not bad. Not bad. That will be some good fuel for working on doing some enchants. Along with the four loose diamonds up there that are a result of not stopping in time to for to uh, silk touch it, and of course I'm not going to bother fortuning all the redstone and coal right now. That's that's a lot. That's enough. Enough to just say it's a lot. All right. Now let's see the portal that I had up there at level 65 that I had made a a start uh, working on a nether tunnel. I did move the nether side of that 10 blocks back to 326 because uh, there was a couple of people that pointed out that I had stopped at the wrong spot, which is why it didn't quite come out where I wanted it to. And so I did go back in and change that and move the portal 10 blocks because while it wasn't actually necessary, I wanted it to be actually right. And uh, next up, these hoppers and uh, actually I have to make a trip to the other end because I need a crap ton of uh, well maybe not a crap ton but I need a good bunch of uh, wool carpet to get the next step done on the dark oak farm all right, so I've given a bunch of thought to this place up here, this dark oak facility, and uh, I'm thinking, well, first of all, I want to have a collection chest right there. To collect whatever comes from the farm. Now, uh, that's a temporary measure because I'm thinking at some point, I'm going to want to have it travel downwards uh, to the mine facility where most of the materials this thing produces is going to be used. And of course going into that, hoppers. And this way as well. So, and so on, all the way around. Now, I obviously don't have enough hoppers to do this completely right now, but I have enough to get the basic idea of it put together. Get, us, get some of the green wool, make up a crap ton of carpet, and put over the top of them, which I can also put over those ugly uh, jack-o'-lanterns and hide them and still have the light from them. Now, I'm... I'm not sure here, at least I don't remember, do mobs spawn on hoppers with carpet on them? Because if not, I can take these jack-o'-lanterns out, replace them with hoppers, increase the efficiency, and not have to be concerned about lighting. 
So if you know the answer to that, I, I can look it up, and I probably will, but let me know anyway. Because I think that would probably be better. things up and that's pretty much what I'm thinking for this area right here carpeted hoppers blanketing the whole area where I've dug out down here and possibly even replacing these jack-o-lanterns because if the mobs are not going to be spawning on this area, then I don't have to be concerned about lighting it up. And uh, that's what I'm thinking here. I think that's going to look pretty good. It will be functional. They will pick up everything that comes in here, comes off of these trees, and deposit it right here. Where later on, I can... Uh, send them downward into wherever I'm going to have them go. And I think that's probably about it for right now. I was going to work on the tunnel some more, but it occurs to me that I need to spend a few hours off in the Mesa area digging up the hardened clay that I'm going to need for that. So, well, that and sand for glass making. So I'm going to work on that between this episode and next, and next time out, we'll spend some more time, some quality time with the tunnel. How about that? Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Bye-bye.